In January 2012, an important amendment to Ontario's Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy Act came into effect. It prevents individuals from making access to information requests for records relating to the provision of abortion services, services which are largely paid for by Ontario taxpayers. And as there appears to have been no debate of this amendment in the Legislative Assembly, the motives of the Ontario government are unclear. But in response to questioning by the media, a government spokesperson eventually stated that the amendment was necessary because abortion-related information is, quote, highly sensitive. But what does that mean? Does the government think some topics are too difficult for Ontarians to consider? Is knowing the number of abortions performed in the province more intrusive than knowing the number of mastectomies or prostate removals? Do they really think, as was suggested, that the release of general statistical data might lead to someone getting hurt? This amendment is contrary to the spirit of freedom of information legislation, the purpose of which is, in part, to ensure the right to access information and that any exemptions to that right are limited and specific. It is also inconsistent with numerous decisions issued by the Office of the Privacy Commissioner. Those decisions reveal that there are already several existing exemptions within the Act that are used to deny access to information requests should the release of data reasonably be expected to endanger the life or safety of persons. This new amendment is therefore completely unnecessary. And the cases from the Privacy Commissioner demonstrate one very clear principle. Data that could identify specific individuals or facilities, like physicians or hospitals, is rarely released, but generalized abortion data and statistics definitely should be. Yes, in the past, extremists purporting to be part of the pro-choice or the pro-life camps have committed crimes in tragically misguided efforts to advance their cause. But as EFC research found, abortion-related violence was exceedingly rare in Canada and in Ontario, even when abortion data was released to the public and media. The actions of a few criminals should not be used as a justification for a blanket ban on statistical data. This amendment to the law was unnecessary, and it restricts the ability of law-abiding Ontario voters to access information about publicly funded services. And as we've heard from the Office of the Privacy Commissioner to the bench of the Supreme Court of Canada, access to information facilitates democracy. To block it is to purposefully obstruct Canadians from being able to fully participate in the democratic process and permits politicians to carry on without accountability to voters. So for more information on this amendment, similar legislation in British Columbia, and the nationwide trends regarding abortion data reporting, download a copy of our report, Black Holes, Canada's Missing Abortion Data.